Hello there, my name is Paisley and welcome to my ED Tracker Star Citizen setup tutorial. This is for a joystick and HOTAS setup, but it should be similar for mouse and keyboard. First thing you're going to have to do is set up your ED Tracker. This online guide is a good resource to teach you on how to do that, but for Star Citizen we're not going to have to use Open Tracker. The link to the guide that I used to set up ED Tracker is in the description. And I highly recommend downloading OpenTrack as well as the profile listed on that guide. It's very useful for other games other than Star Citizen, such as IL-2 Stromnovic. If you have recently purchased your ED Tracker and your joystick and hold have already been set up for Star Citizen, you're going to have to make some changes to your inputs. Uh, for whatever reason, Star Citizen recognized my joystick and hold as input 2 and my ED Tracker's input 1. This meant that all of my settings for my joystick didn't work anymore, and my ED tracker was actually controlling my ship. If this is the case for you, you're going to have to rebind your joystick so that all of the controls say input 2, and then bind your left and right look and up and down look to X and Y respectively with your ED tracker, under the Flight View tab. You do this by moving your head to the left and right and up and down. Once this is done, your ED tracker and joystick have been properly binded and you're ready to jump into the game. Once you're in the game and you move your head around, you'll notice that the reticle doesn't have free range of motion and isn't one-to-one -to, -one to your head. To change this, we're going to have to change some curves in the settings. To change the curves, we're going to have to go into the Control Options tab and go over to the Joystick Hold Toss 1 tab. This would be my ED Tracker, since my ED Tracker is Input 1. You then scroll down to the free look mode part of the settings, where flight view pitch and flight view yaw are. These are the settings that we are going to adjust to change our head tracking. To change these on either pitch or yaw, click edit curve. Once in the menu that pops up, you click onto the graph, press yes on the box that pops up, and from here we can adjust everything. Now select all of the pips one by one and press delete on the pips so that we end up with a straight one-to-one -one line. The way the graphs work is from the top, the further right you are, the slower your head movement is, and vice versa is true as well. So as an example, to make it faster, we would create a pip on the third line, drag it up. To get rid of the curve on the right side, you create another pip on the right side, drag it up, and that will create a straight line. And then to make our line straighter, we all have to create another pip, drag that up, and then drag this pip over, and that will allow us to have a straight line from zero up to wherever we want it. From here you can adjust the furthest left pip to wherever your personal preference is. As an example, here is my pitch, and here is my yaw. The first thing you'll notice is that my pitch is actually further left than my yaw. This is because the head tracking in the game works on a sideways oval. To make the head tracking in game move similar to the way you move your head, we're going to have to make it a circle. And the way you do this is by adjusting your pitch so that it is more sensitive to your yaw. You will have to screw around with this to figure out exactly the way you personally like it. Remember that this is my personal preference for my curves, so if you want to use mine as a basis for yours, you can go ahead. But what works for me might not work for you, so you can adjust the curve to your personal preference. Now that your inputs are changed to the proper inputs, and your curves are changed to the way you personally like them, you are ready to jump into Star Citizen. To disconnect the reticle from your joystick, double tap Alt as the default, and now you're free to look around your ship as you fly through space. You can use the head tracking to aim your gimbaled weapons, although it will take tons of practice to get used to it. At the very least, it's an awesome way to enhance situational awareness. I hope this tutorial helped you, and if it did, I would appreciate if you liked and subscribed. This is Paisley, signing off.